Hi, I'm Benny Archer. I'm an abstract artist. Welcome to my studio. Fluid art is a aesthetic where you take an acrylic paint, you mix it with a medium that you've constructed yourself or you've pre-bought. Uh, you'll mix it up um, to a specific consistency. You'll layer colours together and put those colours out on the canvas. I'll typically start out with a sketch. Um, that sketch will define the way that I want the aesthetic of the piece to go. Um, I'll typically do 10 to 12 based on how well I think the sketch is progressing. Um, from there, I'll start to put colours together. I'll, I'll mix up my paint. Um, that can take a couple of hours based on how much paint I'll need. Some of my pieces need up to five litres of mixed paint, so it takes, it takes a while. <laughs> um, then I'll uh, put all those colours together. I'll typically be unhappy with the outcome that they've, <laughs> that they've come out in. Um, I'll continue to play with it and hopefully by the end of it I've got a, I've got a piece that I like. Uh, one of the techniques I'll use is um, I'll put a black base down and I'll drag a metallic paint across that. Uh, the effect I get is quite unreal. Um, when I put resin over it, the metallics in the piece will shimmer and glow and um, look pretty cool. Uh, the inspiration behind some of my work is flora. Uh, I've recently been drawn to that aesthetic, um, but I'm trying to take uh, what you'd consider a normal uh, plant or flower or tree and turn it into something whimsical, um, something ethereal uh, and something really luxurious. The subject matter of my work has changed over time. Um, it was once purely abstract in the most abstract way. Um, it's recently, uh, not flipped, but it, it's, it's recently pivoted uh, based on my location and the incredible view that I've got outside my studio. Um, we're incredibly lucky to be in Neil and Vic. Um, the, the, the place is, is truly wondrous. Um, uh, and that's definitely, the, the scenery has definitely had an impact on, on me and my work. Um, I'll often go outside, go for a walk, find a leaf or find a tree that I particularly love um, that then inspires a whole new style for me or, a, or an entirely new aesthetic. My first year of Artist Open Studios was 2019 in November. Um, it was incredibly successful, um, which is what then led me to have the confidence to open this space. Uh, I own Gallery 765 with my mum Lisa Ferrari. We were looking for gallery space to display my work in uh, about 18 months ago and uh, couldn't really find much in the way of uh, wall space to get my exposure out there I guess and um, stumbled upon the uh, old antiques barn in Watson's Creek. Uh, as soon as I walked in, it was an instant win. I, I knew that I'd found the space that I wanted to be in. Being part of the Artist Open Studios program not only allows people to forge new friendships, but also gives them a platform to get their work out there, get that exposure that they so deserve. I've always been interested in design and art. Um, I've always been drawn to line, composition, colour um, throughout, my, throughout my history. But more recently I've come to find art as a healing process, a way to get any emotion that I hadn't been able to previously get out, out. and i um, incredibly fortunate that it's, that it's taken me here. Thank you for visiting Nillimbic Artist Open Studios. Come in and have a look around.